What's going on, y'all? I want to show you how UJAM Strings integrates with Presonus Studio One. So these features I'm going to show you are exclusive to Studio One, which makes it, in my opinion, the best DAW to use for this virtual instrument. Okay, so really quick overview of strings. Starting down at the bottom at your C1 key, these are your phrases, C1 up to your A key here are phrases starting at C2, you have bass notes and then C3 and up, play whatever you have, whatever preset you have selected. So by phrases, C1 is the, what I would say is the simplest one and it gets more complex as you go up. So I'm gonna play this. And that's on the C1 phrase. And then if we put it on phrase six, You get the same thing, just a lot more complex. Your black keys up at the top add additional notes. So those that sound like this, let me turn on latch for that. Actually, let's go to a lower phrase. Okay, so these are your additions. And then your uh, B1 here stops it. And you see the additions the same way as the phrases, they get more complex as you go up. Okay, so let's get into these features. So the first one is follow chords. So you can see that here. And what that does is it allows strings to follow the chords in the chord track in Studio One. So I've got a chord progression here from some roads. And what I've played with strings right now sounds like this. Which sounds okay, but it's not going with the chords. So turn this follow chords on and now strings will follow the chord track. And that's much better. Now, I have noticed that this doesn't work all the time. Sometimes you need to toggle the chord track on and off to get it to follow. And, you know, it should sync up. So if it doesn't do it on the first try, just try toggling uh, the chord track there. The second feature is Strings is able to take advantage of Studio One's key switches. So we select this piano roll here. For this instance, you can see we have this red area. These red areas are those C1 and up keys that were the phrases. So you can click in key switches here. And if you hover your mouse over the keys, it tells you what they are, which is really handy. And I'm going to, as you can see here, I've put the, I've used a stop. And I'll just solo this real quick. So right now, this is what it sounds like. So I've got a key switch here for phrase six on the very last one, but as it plays that one and then loops, now it's going to play all of them in phrase six, and I don't want that. So I'm going to just double click in here to create one, and as I move this up and down, you can see it tells me what I'm on, which is also handy. I'm going to go to phrase four, and now let's, let's see what that sounds like. And that's what I want, phrase four for the first three and then phrase six on the last one. And all together, 
I haven't put any drums or anything on this, but altogether, this is what it all sounds like. So there's a quick look at UJAM strings integration with Studio One. It's a really cool virtual instrument here, especially if you're into those orchestral sounds. And you can get everything from big movie score, sound design, strings and orchestras in this, down to stuff that you can use for hip hop, pop tracks. A really cool instrument from UJAM. And I'll have a link in the description if you want to check this out. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts, and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it. Let me know what you think.